It's Thursday the 26th of March. 7 p.m. and as promised, the results of Tim's quiz number five. Had a reasonable response again. <coughs> reasonable. Right, hello everybody. It's Thursday the 26th of March, 7 p.m. as promised. And it's a result of Tim's quiz number five. Had quite a few entries uh, again this week. Not as many as I'd have liked, but we'll get there eventually. So the answers to the questions were these. Right, the guitarist was Billy Duffy from the Cult. I think two people got that. The album title was uh, Live Evil by Miles Davis. The two men were B.P. Fallon and Robert Plant. B.P. Fallon being the rock and roll photographer named in Mary Cigarette's recent song. Flat Broken Berserk by Roy Harper was released in 1970 and the guitar belonged to Rory Gallagher. Bad old Stratocaster. And spot the YouTuber. That was our friend Beppe. Rocky Balboa forever. I just watched part one back and... Um, I do apologise for my shambolic performance. I think he's spending the week with Mickey last week. Done with him. Anyway. Right, the other questions were these. The Eagles were Linda Ronstadt's backing group before they struck out on their own very successfully. The Small Faces single Sha La 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 Lee was written by Mort Schumann and Kenny Lynch. Kenny Lynch being a, a well-known Jamaican English actor of the day, mid-60s. Captain Beefheart's real name is Don Van Fleet, or the other option, which a lot of you got. Jeff Beck's bass player that he's been using over the last few years is Tal Wilkenfeld, young Australian girl. I think she's about 22, 23. Very attractive young lady. If you're watching. <laughs> Jimmy Page's first choice for the New Yardbirds was Terry Reid. Terry Reid was a recording artist um, of that era who was highly regarded and uh, Jimmy Page offered him the gig with the New York Birds, but uh, Terry was contracted to a, an American tour and couldn't fulfil it. So he suggested Robert Plant from the Band of Joy. Judy in Disguise <coughs> was recorded by John Fred and the Playboy Band in 1968, not 1969. It's my mistake. I do apologise, Mikey. The Chicago guitarist who accidentally shot himself was Terry Kath. Apparently he had a collection of firearms and was fooling around at home and, um, well, he forgot it was loaded. Don't play with guns, kids. Mott the Hoople's producer at Island Records was Guy Stevens, who later went on to produce The Clash, in particular their uh, big album, London Calling. Brian May uses a English sixpence as a plectrum, generally, although I believe he's used other coins on occasions, but uh, generally an old sixpenny piece. Um, the album Fifth Dimension was recorded by the Birds, not to be confused with the album Fifth Dimension, recorded by Fifth Dimension. Birds is the one I was looking for. Jim Morrison is buried in the Père Lachaise Cemetery. Jim Morrison is buried in the Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris. Died there in 1971. 
And the two members of UFO, the two long-standing members being the singer and the bass player, were Phil Mogg and Pete Way. Okay, so there's your answers. And the winner is, yet again, Mikey Manello with 19 points. In joint second place with 18 points is uh, Rich, that's Rick Malbex, and Dave, Prefab Sprout. Um, with 17 points, we have Flying O and Rusty, Deck 3. And again, tying with uh, 16 points, we have Jose Polo and Phillips Movies. And then backing those up, we have... Um, Somebody whose name I've scribbled down, I do apologise, uh, with nine points. PDX Guitar Legend with eight points. Big improvement there, Dave. Must have been the UFO question. And Billy Duffy, of course. And um, Max Gutso, Italy's greatest guitarist, with two points. But at least he tried. So there you go, folks. Um, that's it for now. What's this space for a, another edition of Tim's Quiz coming up in a couple of weeks? I'll see you soon. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>